Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi. If you're new here, I would like it if you take a moment to subscribe to my channel as it would encourage me to make more such helpful videos for you. In this video, I will be talking about the difference between decoration and design, the problem of too much text and which type of charts to use. A lot of people confuse decoration with design. While designing the presentation name, people often follow this path but this is not design, it is decoration. In the first slide, we can see that a gradient background is used, which is very distracting and it also has a chart which uses multiple colors to show hierarchy. The second slide not only has multiple colors, but it also has a congested relationship diagram with an unreadable font size. The four most noticeable mistakes that people make while designing slides are using too many colors, having a tiny font size, adding a gradient background and incorrect use of charts. When designing a slide, one should think about the audience and ask questions like, what is the most important thing in this slide? What are we trying to communicate here? And then move on to the second most important thing. A designer is someone who tries to prioritize things and separates the most important topics from the least important ones. This slide is very boring as it becomes monotonous. What we are trying to create is something like this. We are trying to be different and interesting. Most people don't see it because they don't see the hidden structure behind it. And this is what design is about. It is not about decoration, but about creating structures. At some point in your life, you might have given or attended a presentation which had too much text where people lost contact and started reading it word by word. For example, this slide. But I would argue that there is no such thing as too much text. But having too much text for a particular context could be a problem. If my slide talks about an apple, my data should not be more than three lines. Here are some insights from a research done by Stephen Gostlin about the most annoying and most frequent PowerPoint failures. Inadequate information was provided to support the main point, went through the presentation too slowly, read word by word, slide contained too much material to absorb in before the next slide was presented, the main point was obscured by a lot of irrelevant details. If you are confused with which type of chart to use in your presentation, then you have come to the right place. According to PowerPoint, there are nine different types of charts and almost 95% of the data visualization and business is done using the top four kind of charts. The rest of the charts are used in a very limited context. The charts that you will be frequently using are pie charts, line charts, column charts, and bar charts. If you hear the word distribution, it is a hint for you to use a pie chart. If you hear the word trend, it is a hint for you to use line charts. Column charts and bar charts are most familiar to the audience and are used for comparing two to three different fields. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any related videos from this series.